same thing happens here. Both center backs are located in the half spaces in around the halfway line or a little bit behind. Welcome to today's video. What are the responsibilities of a center back? Here is the list that you should focus on. Positioning and awareness, technical passing ability, 1v1 defending, and your defensive organization. So let's get right into it. Center backs in possession. Positioning and awareness in your own half. In this first clip, we're gonna notice how this center back drops off to give their fullback an option. Usually the space behind is gonna allow you to give that option pass and then allow you to play either out the other way or back into that same space. If the ball's coming from that side, obviously you wanna get it out of trouble. Staying in that zone is gonna allow you to connect the next player with outside flanks. In this case, the goalkeeper and the fullbacks. Here, same thing, the goalkeeper receives the ball, both center backs are on the right and left side providing an option for the goalkeeper. That way they create a little triangle and can play side to side and become an option. Here, same thing, same scenario happens. It's a little deeper in their own half now, but they both want to be available in those spaces. Being in those spaces is gonna allow options both on the left and right in the half spaces and it's also going to allow options in the middle to open up for the team. Now the positioning in the opponent's half. Anytime the ball is up the field you want to push your line up to at least halfway. Here a triangle is created with the CDM, you're going to be the support for any teammate that needs to play back and reset play. Here you can see both center backs holding back, being that support, being that outlet pass in case the team does need any help. Same thing happens here, both center backs are located in the half spaces in around the halfway line or a little bit behind. But the main objective is for you to support and rotate the ball whenever you are needed. Next is the technical and passing ability. There are going to be plenty of moments when, as a center back, you're going to receive the ball in these zones. And all you have to do is find your center mid or rotate the ball out to the other center back. Short passes like these are going to happen often. You don't have to complicate yourself, just be patient, look for a pass, find that short pass. If it's not on, look to rotate the ball. The quicker we can move the ball, the quicker that spaces can open up. There's going to be plenty of moments when you might have to make that switch. Making these switches can create a 1v1 opportunity on the flanks for your winger or fullback making that overlapping run. This will happen plenty of times. Breaking lines is another way to generate an attack. As a center back, basically what a breaking line is, is a pass that goes through a line of the opponent team's formation. These passes are super important and super dangerous, so make sure you do them often. There will be plenty of moments when you come across a situation of 1v1 defending. In this scenario, you see that Varane is following Di Maria's run. And in this case, you want to be able to contain and not fully commit into a tackle. Just containing them and forcing them to dribble out or dribble backwards, you have done your job. These runs are going to happen often from the striker going centrally out wide. You want to be able to follow that player as much as possible to make sure that they do not receive alone in that space. Here you see another clip of the same thing happening, center back drifting out wide to defend that striker. Defensive organization. When it comes to organization, it's crucial for you to be aware of what's happening in that specific scenario. In this clip, you can see that the attacker beats the center back to the ball and immediately drops into that space left by the other center back because they shifted over to defend. Here you can see how the back line is dropping off and you see the weak side center back shift closer to the strong side center back. You can use 
a halfway line to divide the field as reference. And the same thing is going to happen on this next slide where the ball gets switched over and the weak sided center back pinches over to the center of the field. Always making sure to maintain a line. As the ball gets played back, they push up their defensive line to close down that gap, as you can see right here. As the ball is going to get played back over, they drop their line back, but always maintaining that line. This is crucial as a center back.